Newburgh sixth grader who represented the Tri-State well at the National Spelling Bee this week is enjoying his time as a top 20 Spelling Bee finalist. Eyewitness News Amanda Mueller spoke with him and one of his favorite teachers. Amanda? Well, Prof made it all the way to the top 20 before he was eliminated yesterday. I caught up with him tonight as he continues the Spelling Bee journey. When Pranav came in at the very beginning of the school year, the first thing he asked me was, when is Castle North spelling me? And I was like, you're just a sixth grader, okay. <laughs> Not just a sixth grader, but now a national spelling bee top 20 finalist. So I know that that boy was studying those words that whole time. North Castle librarian Lisa Pearson knows because she supported Pranav so much on his journey that he thanked her on television. She's been supporting me in the spelling bee all along and I hope to make her proud of me. O, O, Burgu. Correct. Absolutely proud. I was proud the day he got regional. When I spoke to him, Pranav had a special message from Mrs. Pearson, which we delivered. She supported me throughout my uh, spelling journey, and she, I bet she's really proud of me right now that I've gone this far, and she was just a really nice person to have as a librarian and a spelling sponsor. <laughs> I've been proud ever since. <laughs> if you're wondering if Pranav has a favorite word, he does. My favorite word is Poyaton because it's spelled so differently than it's pronounced. It means a European newspaper and it's from French. The spelling is F E U I L L E T O N. The last student from Warwick County qualified for the National Spelling Bee in 2010, but they may not need to wait that long again. He's got two more years to try. Guarantee you're going to see him again. But in the meantime, no. what should a top 20 spelling bee finalist do to prepare? Yeah, I said memorize the dictionary. <laughs> Prav and his family attended an award banquet tonight in Washington, D.C. Amanda Mueller, Eyewitness News.